Hi guys, welcome to my first ever Galaxy S8 Plus video. Yeah, we are using this for the videos. And in today's video, I'm going to show you nine hidden tricks to make your Galaxy S8 usage much better. So let's just take a look at the features first. Later than I will tell you how to enable them. So first of all, choose live wallpapers. Now you will tell all of the major live wallpaper apps give you the option to choose from the live wallpapers. But some apps such as Pixart Editor, as you can see, you can directly choose it from over here. Also, the all of the system UI wallpapers are also present over here, which is a nice thing. You can directly enable them from over here. Now the next one is the use location in the background. This is like an iPhone feature. iPhones have this feature where you can toggle individual apps which app use like a location. For example, if I go to the messages, I don't want this to use location in the background. So as you can see, never allowed or if I want it, always allowed or only allowed while in use, which is a very handy feature in order to preserve battery. The next one is disable 2G. It definitely does what it tells like literally disables 2G. You can just enable it and it will never use your data when you are on a 2G network. For example, right now, as you can see, I'm using LT. The next one is a device maintenance. You can awake this feature by like this. For example, as you can see, it gives you an advanced storage clear, which only pops out when your storage is full. As you can see, my storage is not full right now, but still I can clear my 400 MB just by one day. I've just literally got this asset yesterday and already have a catch over 400 MB. So I can directly delete it over there. It's not available directly into the device maintenance. So you can awake it over here. The next one is also a device maintenance, but it's a bit different one. As you can see, you get the advanced memory usage over here. Explore the normal storage which you get from the my files and the RAM. You can directly jump into the RAM. You don't have to use the whole device maintenance like the before. You can also go to the memory usage in order to get an in-depth view. I don't know why Samsung did provide us like this because literally if you check the normal ones as you can see device maintenance memory it's like this. You can clean the apps and you can monitor the apps. So that's a bit in-depth view over there. Then you can play normal Marshmallow Land game because literally the Nogat one, the Pokemon like ones, I don't like it. So as you can see, you can play the Marshmallow game. It's still in system view of the Nogat. The next one is the manage app data. So you can toggle individual apps which use data and the Wi-Fi. It's available in some countries, but in some countries like India, it's not available. So we can toggle over here which apps use Wi-Fi and data. When the device auto sets it, if you leave your house, you automatically disconnect through the Wi-Fi and connect to your LT. So you can toggle it over here. You can also set the data warning. As you can see, you can set it. Jumps on to the normal data usage limit. You can limit your data, for example, 9 GB. You can also use the restrict background data. And the last one is accessible GPS. I don't know why it's not available in the main settings of the location, but here you can disable that to save your battery. And that's pretty much it. You have all of the nine features which are hidden in the software, but just not available by the Samsung. So let's just take a look how you can enable them. So download an app called Activity Launcher. By this app, you can dig in through the APKs, which strings they have. Some strings might not work, but the working ones are these only nine. All right now we are in the app. So let's just enable the first one by going to the device maintenance. So if you want to clear out the unnecessary data, you you have to choose this last one in the device maintenance as you can see if i tap it we have just cleared it so it will not show again but if you want this on a home screen just like this you will not get this hidden features folder you have to just create a shortcut and it will add on your home screen i created the folder myself now the first one you will get the a gps over here as you can see tap on the create shortcut for adding on to the home screen it's just that simple so next up for the live wallpapers, you have to just search L, Airfall live wallpaper. There you go. Again, just create a shortcut. Because literally made the same video for the S7 and literally everyone was angry that they couldn't get a folder. Like literally guys, there is not a folder. You have to create it yourself. So let's just go again to the settings. Scrolling down to the D, you will get the device maintenance, which is the different device maintenance. Now scroll down to the R, you will get the RAM over here. Now going to the phone, there are three types of phone apps. Just go to the first one. Just scroll down until you found D for disable 2G. That might come in handy if you want the high speed cause data if you disable that your phone will be again connected to the wi-fi so you will always have a faster connection going down to the system ui you will get the marshmallow land over here for playing the older game now going to the m you will find the manage app data over here for managing your wi-fi and data now going to the u you will also find the use location in the background which is the next one and that's about it guys for this video thanks for watching if you find this video and the app helpful please drop a like down there and please let me know in the comment section below what next videos should i make with this device cause a lot of them are coming as this device is so beautiful and amazing at the same time see you in the next one and be sure to subscribe bye bye